Hi, I'm Anya. Welcome to my kitchen. Today I would like to show you how to prepare sim simple meringue cookies. We prepared already a meringue cake, but this time those are simple meringue cookies. We call it Bezy and those are Sebastian's favorite. Those are delicious. They are so easy to prepare and they are very presentable. So I hope you guys are going to give it a try. And in case you decide to do that, let's have a look at the ingredients so you know what you need. So I'm starting with separating my eggs. I will use my egg yolks probably for creme brulee, but uh, we need all our egg whites. We're going to put them in the stand mixer, which needs to be very clean. And then we're going to add our pinch of salt and we're going to be mixing it on a medium speed until we get soft peaks. And soft peaks look exactly like this so right now we're going to keep beating while we're adding our sugar spoon by spoon now if you can't get um, a fine sugar just run the regular sugar in the food processor for around two minutes and we're going to be beating it until it's nice glossy and when you squeeze it between your fingers you can't feel um, the grains of sugar in my case I was still feeling some grain so I ran it for another couple of minutes okay and then the mixture is beautiful glossy sticky and thick and that means we are ready so I'm going to add my lemon juice and then my vanilla extract and I'm going to sprinkle on top my cornstarch Okay, and when this is ready, I'm going to use my spatula, right now no more mixer, to fold it gently in. We do not want to deflate that anymore, so we are being gentle. Okay. And when this is ready, I'm going to use my piping bag and I'm going to pipe nice big meringue cookies. Well, Sebastian loved that size. If you would like to go for a little bit smaller ones, you can. You just need to adjust the time in the oven. And I have my oven preheated to 130 degrees Celsius and I'm going to be baking them for one hour. Now, if you would be making them smaller, go to um, uh, 110, somewhere there. Okay, and after they baked for one hour, we turn off the um, heating in the oven and we letting, letting them cool completely. Now, when you take them out and they easily get off the parchment paper, that means they are ready. If it would happen that they are still not ready, you might want to pop them in for um, another 10 or 15 minutes so they dry out a little bit more. And um, that's about it for this time, guys. I hope you enjoyed the recipe and I will see you next time. Bye.